All right, I think I'm on here. Let's see here. I got yellow signal on the volume. I hope that's not too loud. I could back this mic off just a little bit. All right, hope that's better. Hey, everybody. Welcome Friday after Christmas. Good to see everybody here. Let's go through the list real quick. Doc, I don't know if Doc's to here. That was a while ago. Tojo, welcome. Two bowls of spaghetti. That's awesome. Welcome, Chad. Welcome, Doug. Welcome, Thomas. Live at 9.15. I'm going to watch Goofy 70 shows. All right. Welcome, Mark. Welcome, Adam. Welcome, Rick. Thomas. Did I say Thomas already? Maybe not. Different Thomas. All right, John. Welcome. Welcome, Eugene. Welcome, Stephen. Welcome, Wandering Bear. Welcome, Mike Finn. Welcome, Glock by my side. Welcome, Steve Pickering. Welcome, Peter Richards. Hey, Sean Lowe. Welcome. All right. Hey, Paul Ray. Welcome. Hey, Doug. Thank you for showing up. That's a good thing to do. Did a little sharpening. Get back and read the comments. Welcome, Chad Lampy, our newest member. Yeah, he's excited to be here. Hey, hola, big dog. Glad to see you in here. Gents, welcome. Howdy. JCB, what's up? Greetings from Hawaii. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Aloha. Gavin's got the right idea. Aloha, Hawaii. <clears throat> Let's see. Maybe even out this thing here for you guys. It's not freaking you out on the camera here. All right. That's a little bit better. Hey, Doc. Welcome. All right. He is here. That's fantastic. All right. Let me give everybody one more minute to get their welcomes in, and then I will get started. We've got a couple cool things that happened. These are the things I've been carrying this week a lot. This one, a little Kubi. I can't remember the number on it. I think they should start printing the numbers on here so I could read it. But this is a cool little knife. Very useful. Br broke this out for the rotation. And I opened up all my boxes today with this little... And I forget what this is called. Anybody know what this is called? This little traditional from... Oh, it's written on the back. The Daedalus. This thing is really cool. It's super sharp. And I usually don't use traditionals on boxes. I don't know why. This scares me. But it went right through it really easily. Hey, greetings, Doug. Welcome to Newcastle. Awesome. Thank you for posting on Facebook. Fantastic. Oh, I feel a million times better, John. Thank you. Thank you all for all your wishes and prayers and well-wishing thoughts. It was... I feel a ton better. All right. Let's see. All right. That's about it. I think that's about... I'll say welcome to the folks that come in as they come in. Okay. Today, some cool things happen. First, some uncool things happen. So, let me move this out of the way. A couple of the... Let me see which one's not covered up. Here, this one's covered up. A couple of Piff box, two more Piff Miss boxes came back for bad addresses. So, for the ones that are in here on the re sign up, can, you got to make sure you give me a correct address for the United States Postal Service. You have to give me something that's going to fly with them, not something that you've used for UPS or DHL or the other ones. It has to be a post office address and the best way to do that I know it sounds weird is to go to the post office website and type it into their little click and ship address and see if they're gonna let you ship to it it won't cost you anything you can check it out and then just see if that's the right address and that's only if you're not if you haven't gotten things there before but there's three people so far that I've gotten boxes back from and so <laughs> Goodbye, Eric. Live stream's over. The KU-180. Okay, this is the KU-180. Hey, George, welcome. I feel a million times better, Peter B. Thank you for asking. Oh, yeah, getting the freak. That's a good idea. I'll sh That's a great idea. Excellent idea. All right, so remember... Remember to... Get your correct address in for the new list that's going to be coming up pretty quick here. All right, what else came in today? Let's see. I already showed you these. Holy heck, this knife. Ooh, the XM18. Oh, you guys. Ooh, the hinderers. Those are some good knives. And I like the flipperless ones, the non-flipper versions. Those are 
I'll keep this in sight here. There we go. Put that one over there. Okay. So, there's a guy that sent in some knives. And he sent in some other knives before. And he doesn't want to be recognized. As far as by name. He just wanted to say to everybody that he really enjoys what's going on with the channel. And the things we're doing here. So, I want to show you some of the stuff he sent in today. And it's some really cool stuff. All right. Here we go. The first thing is, he sent in a Kubi. This is the Kubi Bad Language 105. There you go. Check this out. If you don't have one of these, this is awesome. This is a little Axis Lock Kubi. And I didn't know about this one, but check this out. There's a there's a Y start that's kind of like this. It's not exactly like this, but it just drops down. This thing is really cool. I don't know how much this thing costs. I'll have to check it out in a second. I don't even know what the steel is. It doesn't have D2 on there. But he sent this in. He sent all these in for like giveaways or different things. So he sent that in. Really cool. I'm just gonna leave it out for right now, just to show you guys. All right, so he sent that in. <laughs> Which one do I wanna show you? I'll show you this one next, and then I'll show you the other one last. All right, he sent in this. Look, you know that box of Browse Blades. Now, I think this is one of the new budget Browse Blades. I forget what it's called, the T4, T7 or something. But look at this, watch this. Listen, you listening? Oh man, look at that thing. Holy heck, this blade is really cool. No lanyard thing, so y'all are free to know that I'm not gonna steal this one. But still, this thing is huge in hand. This thing's awesome. Some happy tidings from Doc there, I see that. Yo, happy trigger time, welcome. Saturday in New Zealand, that's even better than Friday. You don't have to work today, hopefully. <clears throat> An admin should be more inclusive. <laughs> James, you're the man. Time for whiskey, all right. All right, so he sent in that brass blades, he sent in the Kubi. Oh, dang, Brad, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, Doc's working too, it's five o'clock somewhere. Oh, that's right. Chad's over on the East Coast now. Budget versions have an oval around the logo on the knife. All right, let me check that out. Thanks for the heads up. Let me check that out real quick. Hey, Rick, welcome. Let's check this out. I don't see a logo on the knife. I'm missing it. Man, maybe, I don't know. This is a really cool knife, super sharp. I'm gonna shave my legs with it later. No, I'm not. I don't want y'all to think that. Should you happen to receive that as a gift? Okay, <clears throat> in a giveaway or something. Look at this, check out this box. Have y'all seen these? Max Ace knives. This is the first one I've ever held, I believe. I can think of, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh, watch this. Y'all ready for this? Check this out. Oh my gosh! You know what? I looked these up and I've never held. Look at the choil on that. I love this. This thing is like 50 bucks. I was expecting to look this up and see 150, 200 bucks. This is the Max Ace Red Queen. Check that out. This thing is awesome. Oh man, this is a cool knife. I had my nephews in here. My 15 year old nephew. 15? He's 16. No, he's 15. And he picked this out of a stack of knives I had. He said, that's the one I want. He can't have it, but. You didn't miss much, Ed, Eddie. We're just sitting here going through some knives that somebody kind and excellent sent in. He doesn't want recognition. He just wants everybody to know that he enjoys us and he enjoys the channel and what we're doing. But I will show you what he sent in real quick. He sent in this Max Ace Red Queen. And it based on names alone, that's the one I like the best. And then he sent in this Browse Blades. I think it's called a T4. Check that out. Oh, man. That thing. That thing's pretty cool. All right. And he sent in this Kubi here. Anyway, he sent in one other knife. Now, he said that I could keep one of the knives. And so I did. And I didn't keep one of these three. So you know how awesome that last knife is going to be. All right, let me go through the thing real quick. Did Peach show up? Where's Peach? 
Hey, Peach. Thank you for showing up. Don't go, Peach. Stay, stay here, Peach. That's just what someone posted on IG. Does it open up other boxes? It does. All of these will open up other, other boxes than I. Chad brought the rain. Yeah, it took away from us. All right, cool. Rain all day in Boston, better than snow. Huh, that's kind of an interesting take. I never heard that before, Thomas. That you'd rather have rain than snow. But that makes sense because the rain's not going to accumulate on the side of the roads and get all dirty. About to watch the Black Mirror movie over dinner. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll leave you to it. Yes, thank you to whoever sent in those knives. They're pretty awesome. The Max Ace is awesome. This thing is really cool. I'm telling you guys, you're going to get this in hand and you're going to feel like... I'm not, and this is not an exaggeration. You're going to feel like you have a $150, $200 Wii kind of knife in your hand. This thing is that kind of knife. It just snaps open. It's locked up. Super solid. It's really nice. It's really, really cool looking. The colors are different. I know there's a different color on this. I just forget what the color is. But this is awesome. This is such a cool knife. All right, let me put that in. This makes me want to go get one, in fact. I'm going to have to get one of these later. All right, so here's the one that he said I could have. And if I need verbal confirmation, I will get it. But he did. He said, you can keep one knife. The one knife to rule them all. And so, this is the one that I'm going to keep. Hold on, let me open the box here. Well, let me close the box and then open it. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Oh, yeah. The Red Queen is pretty cool. It's the freak. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. And seriously, I, I didn't see you if you came in. I'm not going to say if you're here or not. But if you are here and I was totally mistaken about keeping a knife, please let me know. Because I know in, in the email you said it was cool, but I don't want to be a total tool if and keep one that I wasn't supposed to keep. Please, I, I, I'm not, I'm serious. This thing is awesome. But it's not going to hurt my feelings if I misunderstood. So, I think I got, this is it. But if not, let me know. This thing's awesome. And the thing is, I was thinking about getting another one. I think I mentioned it in a live stream within the last week or so and the story behind this knife is i had one and i gave it to my dad and then he gave it to a guy that was helping him clean up his house after harvey and so and i actually went and tried to give this to my dad today and he was too addicted to his otfs to to take it he said all i want is otfs anymore so Yes, I'm getting the, my freak on here. Hola, Angie. Welcome. Did Jack just come in? Hey, Jack. Welcome. I didn't see you come in. There you are. How do y'all? The Max Ace is super sweet. I'm missing a lot of this. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I'm missing some stuff here. Bench made nice. Nice mystery man. You rock. Yeah, he is totally awesome. Laying in bed feeling hopeful. Oh, knife text. You got what we had? Is it the aches and the pains and the coughing and the flu stuff? I hope not. Dang, gum it. Please get better. That's terrible. Get you, get you, get you, freak on. You know, I like the freak. I do. I like it more this time because I don't, I'm not going to give this one away. OTFs rule the world. Yeah, he thinks so. I'm serious. He doesn't want anything else. Pulled out that he pulled out that LEO the other day. I just received verbal confirmation or written confirmation that I get to keep the freak. What what what? Alright, awesome. Fantastic. Man, knife text, I'm sorry to hear you got the crud. That's terrible. Oh man. I do not want to go through that again. I feel bad for you. I just got over it, so please get better soon. Lots of water, lots of fluids. And um, lots of binge watching Netflix. Ah, uh, freak out! 
Hey, Brian Newton, welcome. The Freak looks awesome. I think you'd like it, Peach. I think you'd like the Mini Freak better, but I think it's your, right up your alley. No, you know what? The first time I got this, the rubber on this kind of bothered me, and I think it was because I just wasn't used to it, but now, this is like a year and five months later, so I'm way smarter than I was back then. I, I like it. I like it because, and it's his honest God truth, I was less apt to use my knives back then, even as much safe queenage as I have around here. I was still more more safe queeny back then. And this, the more I use my knives, the more I appreciate this rubber, non-slip kind of feel to it. So if I had to do another review on this, I'd probably let this pass. I don't, coming out of the pocket, it's kind of grippy, but in the hand where it's really, really matters this thing feels really work ready it's like a rubberized grip like a grip tillion that's rubberized so it's awesome pretty cool yeah peter b i've been wanting to tell you but i i didn't want to ruin the surprise i went freaky i think peach you'd like mini freaky Oh, no, Angie. But you found it. That's good, right? You found it? Yeah, listen, and it's light. It's very light, so. Yeah, Big Dog, there's a lot of, and the cool thing about Benchmade is, beyond what they put out, is they have really excellent customer service. Mike Finn wants to start a YouTube channel. Hey, Blackwood Blades, what's up? Is the Freak Walmart run worthy? It is. It definitely is. It'll definitely put a pokey on somebody. Okay, I'll let you know. I'll carry it a bunch. I'll do a video or just 30 minutes of rubbing it with my fingers. I did a 30 minute <laughs> bench made video before I can do that. Rick James would approve. He would. It's super freaky. <laughs> yeah, the Ritter type blade. Man. What is that company? Is HK coming out with that Ritter Benchmade knockoff? Not knockoff, but you know what I'm saying? That Ritter, Ritter couldn't get with Benchmade anymore. So I think HK, I want to get one of those. The cat hit it. You know what? My cat did that to me too. I've made a mistake of getting him addicted to chasing lanyards that I don't like so I'll cut them off and I'll use them as like little mice toys and then one day I found all my knives I left up here on my table all scattered around the living room did the wife yeah we saw all your stuff I think yeah the stuff that no I don't know we saw a bunch of your stuff Eddie that you won and that you got. What What was the bench made? I totally forgot. Alright, that's what I'm going to do, Doc, tonight. I'm going to do the 30-minute freak rub. And that's what I'm going to title it. Jimmy Slash rubs a freak for 30 minutes. That should get some views, yeah. Alright. 6'8", 440. Holy freak! You're a monster! Dang! <laughs> Oh wow! You know the, whole, you know the way everybody's telling me when I went to Blade Show. This got truth. I must have heard this, all oh, four or five times. I thought you'd be taller. That's what I heard. I was like Dalton from Roadhouse without the cool hair, and muscles, and dance moves, and fighting ability, and cool sayings, pithy wisdom, ability to do pull-ups. Uh, let's see what else I'm lacking here. Kung Fu Tai Chi. Can't do that either. But besides, our throat ripping ability. Besides that, I was just like Dalton from Roadhouse. BM always had Ritter. He just went to Hogue recently. Okay. I would really, I'm going to get my hands on one of those new H. Or is it Hogue? Hogue, that's what it is. Thank you, Thomas. Yeah, one of the Hogue Ritters. 
I'm going to give me one of those. I like the blade shape on that. I don't know if it's going to do me any better, but I just like the way it looks a little bit better. And the Benchmade Ritters, you can't get for less than around 200 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do, Peter. I thought you'd be... Wait, no, no, I thought you'd be... Did I say I thought you'd be shorter? They said I thought you'd be taller. I don't see how you could be taller, Peter. But yeah, they kept telling me I think you, I thought you'd be taller. Dem Andrew Demko told me that. <laughs> I thought you'd be taller. I guess it's my voice. My voice commands tallness. But not really. Not in real life, it doesn't. I have to wear platform shoes this year. So they'd be just like, I thought you'd be a little bit taller. No, I thought you'd be taller. So maybe I can get a couple inches. What is the Kubi number? Somebody just gave it to me and it went out of my ear. Flew in one ear and went out the open window. So I don't know what that is. I think it was a 160. Is that right? I need to give me a bug out. I think I'm the only one of the Benchmade fans that doesn't have a bug out. For sure. You see, I gotta take a drink of my water real quick not to cough. Alright, excellent. <laughs> well, I disappointed a lot of people height-wise. But I made made up for it in, in girth, so that was good. <laughs> the 180, okay. Doug Ritter was running for BMBM, BM, pretty much screws up anything good. Oh, they're giving him slave wages, that's not good. That's too bad, he does so much good for the community, it seems like it'd be really cool to be attached to his name. Yeah, that was all I got. They heard my voice in the crowd, turned around, and just didn't pay attention to who I was. Oh, I thought I heard Jimmy Slash. It's not that short ball dude over there. The 160 was the blade you showed. Okay. All right, I'm well off, way off. Hey, Chad. Chad K. Chad Cobra. Welcome. Get girth units. <laughs> That's what it is, girth units. I made up for it in girth units. <laughs> You can send away for broken or for more Benchmade Springs, I believe. I think that's one thing they'll send you. And Kershaw, I think, will send you. Kershaw will send you a torsion bar. They've sent me one before, and it wasn't for a Kershaw, I think. I think it was for a one of the ZT. No, it was, oh, it was for one of them. It was for the... Oh, it's one of my favorite, and I can't remember what it was. The Piston. I had a Piston. MJ, the real MJ in the house. Oh, next to the Kubi box. I'm sorry, Peter B. This is the 105. The FQ 105. FQ 105. That sounds like a radio station. This is FQ 105. Playing the hits from 8 to 7. Wait, that's like an 11-hour shift. <laughs> 11 hours of hits. All right, so it's pretty cool. This is a pretty cool knife. I don't know how much it costs, but I'll have to check it out. It really reminds me of that Y start that used to stab me in the hand. But this one doesn't have hand stabbing ability. You're not going to catch your finger in there. So this is pretty cool. Definitely worth a look, depending on how much it costs. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to give me some platform shoes. I'm going to take it back to the 70s with some goldfish. They won't send out Omega Springs. Okay, well, yeah, send it in. Thomas says they won't send them out. I was misinformed about that. But they will, they'll fix it. They're pretty cool about fixing everything. They will send out off-center knives. Yeah. Yeah, they've done that. I've been disappointed with a couple Benchmades I've received. But every time I've done it, they've fixed it for me. And they've been pretty gracious about it. I don't know, MJ, they've never said anything about it. I don't know if it's lost in translation for them or they haven't caught it or they're just not watching my reviews. But they they haven't said anything about it. And if they do, I think it's bad on their part to get mad about it if it's selling their knives. And it's kind of a, I mean, you look at their logo. 
If I was them, I'd get t-shirts that said Angry Tommy Monkey t-shirts and just start selling those bad boys. It's just, it's a cool logo. I don't think it's a bad thing that, that I'm saying about it. I'm not saying commies are bad. Not that they're not, but... And so, I don't know. Maybe the Chinese government will stab them over it. I'm not sure how that goes over there, but... To get angry over something like that, especially from somebody that's pretty positive about their stuff. If they, if they end up getting angry about that, I'd probably just I'll probably just move on. I'm not going to sit there and, and worry about it too much. <clears throat> My Crooked River is a good one. Oh, yeah. Crooked River. That's a great knife. Yeah, I have an awesome Crooked River. Got a sweet deal on one of those. 20 CV jobber. Somebody didn't like the custom job they got done on theirs and sold it to me. So I, I definitely like that. Yeah, Chad, Chad's right. Commies are bad, but not all monkeys are commies, and not all commies are monkeys. Jimmy Slash is a commie. Do not know where that came up. I don't know where you heard that rumor. Chad, I just got a mini grip that was horribly off center. Yeah, some of their stuff, I mean, everybody's going to have, they're sending out thousands and thousands of knives, they're all going to be perfect. But the fact that they're willing to fix the stuff they send out is pretty cool. I have heard that steel and knife prices are going up. I didn't know they were going up that much. Holy heck. Commies are bad, MK. <laughs> I said it myself? I said I was a commie? Yeah, the Crooked River is pretty awesome. Holy heck, I gotta take another drink of water. One second, folks. Yeah, seriously, who wouldn't want to wear an angry commie monkey tee with that logo on there? You know, get rid of the Kubi thing. And just boom. I'd wear it. That would be awesome. A BM Saibu and the Omega Springs have broken on me twice. Wow, that sounds bad. That's not good at all, Gavin. I've never heard of that kind of terrible luck, but yeah, that's pretty rough. That would anger me tremendously. Let's talk about rising prices. First, I've heard it. Yeah, I just heard because of the steel prices going up, obviously knife prices are going to go up, so... I think especially like American knife prices. I don't know what's going to be around the world. So. The Princess Leia monkey. <laughs> they can make a, print, a Princess Leia monkey shirt. <laughs> I don't know what a tang is, so... Tang me. Tang me. I ought to get a rope and hang me. astronauts drink it that's true oh I love tang I totally forgot about that tang oh yes tang is good stuff when I was a kid I used to love you know what I like to do I like to open it up and then breathe it, breathe right when you open it and you get all that tang dust in your lungs I'm pretty sure it's an illegal drug somewhere but that's good stuff I have not seen the new real steel models I haven't seen any new models from anybody. Wait, I think somebody, maybe it was Benchmade, had one new model that they were modeling the other day. Couldn't think of another word fast enough. All right, Peach, pause it. Thank you. Welcome for showing up. Welcome. Thank you for welcome. Thank you for teaching me English. Welcome. Welcome to Jimmy Slash's I Speak English class. Can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. There you go. That sounds right. What George said. Free base tank. No, we're not going to say ugly things. I don't want to put anybody time out. <laughs> yes. Bear Grylls loves tang. <laughs> I don't remember the space food sticks, but I do remember Tang. Special Tang. <laughs> it's like a, that's a street name. <laughs> Little baggies of Special Tang. 
Oh, astronaut ice cream. I have had that. That would be a cool knife, Pete. A, CR, a pillar with a flipper that's a little bit bigger. That would be a really cool knife. Tang and fruit roll-ups. That sounds like a knife, knife addict's dream there. With the little ramen on the side. Check Real Steel on Instagram. Okay, I'll check them out. I like a lot of Real Steel stuff. That, was it the H6 they have? That whole thing? That blade shape with the thing. I love that blade shape with the belly on it. It's awesome. Real Steel kind of ticked me off, though. Over the something. Remember they had that super deal that was a total mistake? <laughs> and I understand that. I think we all ordered like four hundred dollars worth of knives for twenty bucks or something silly. <laughs> that's that's understandable that they totally dissed that one. But then I went back and I bought a bunch of knives for a really good deal, and then they all of a sudden they were out of all the really cool knives. So that was kind of upsetting. No, I didn't put you in timeout yet, Rich. <laughs> Mountain House House astronaut ice cream. <clears throat> yeah, I think my kids had. I gave my kids some once, and I've had it before. I didn't. wasn't totally crazy about it. Let me even you try it again. The Metamorph. That's a pretty cool knife. Buenas noches, Norma. Welcome. Oh, you haven't missed much. We got some cool knives in. Oh, holy heck! I have two other knives that I got in. I haven't even showed you guys. I was too busy. Let me show you real quick because it deserves to be seen by everybody, especially Norma. She's excellent. All right. A guy, not to be named, sent in some knives for giveaways and Piffmas or Piff shipping and stuffing. So he sent in this Kubi, excellent Kubi. And he sent in this Browse Blades. I'm going to do it real quick. It's going to take me less than 30 seconds. Boom. He sent in that one. And then he sent in the Max Ace Red Witch. Let me break this out real quick. And he said, and he said I could keep one knife. And lucky for me, he had sent in this freak, and I kept the freak. And that's all you missed. That and a bunch of other jokes that will probably go down in history as not jokes at all. <laughs> so that's what you missed. Not a whole lot. The front flipper, yeah, I love the front flippers. Canceled orders and wait for. Yeah, there you go. Doc said on the real still stuff. Cancel the orders and take forever to refund them. Yeah, me too, Pete. There was going to be a lot of people getting some good gifts this year. <laughs> and then it all went away. But then I went back. I went back because they had some awesome knives and it was a really cool deal. It wasn't the crazy deal it was, but then they just didn't want it. MT can have it. MT's about to get some of my money. I'm going to save up. I'm saving up for something. One of those knives that you sent me. Holy freak. I think it's going to probably be the combat show it on. That's a holy heck. Thanks to you guys. I have knives to carry. One for each year I have left on earth. How many years do you have left, Chuck? What's going on? Did we miss something? I don't mean to be callous. I just haven't heard anything. All right, definitely listen. Norma's listening. We're going to try and keep it going. It's not a very visual thing here. I'll make sure I describe what's going on. Hand-waving under the camera. That's it. It's a totally blank screen now. All right. Norma, keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel. And no matter what the song says, don't let Jesus take the wheel. I saw that video. It totally didn't make sense to me. She should have kept her hands on the wheel and started praying. I just flung her hands in the air and you know I don't think that's the way it works I might be wrong I haven't been to church in a while nice bulldog Doug love me some bulldogs oh yeah bulldogs awesome millions of peaches in the country do it like a sportscaster and he's at the 50 all right let me show you what else I got in how far are we into this maybe I should just delay that for a second Make sure we get enough time in. What are we in? 50 minus 15 carries 7 times 4 square root of 2. 
Yeah, I think I can show you now. All right, so I don't know if he's in here. Is uh, grateful? No, oh, what? Uh, I just blew it in my brain. Not grateful, dead. Somebody help me. I just forgot everything. I know his real name. I don't know if I was supposed to say his real name. Is it Grateful EDC? Dad, I mean, now I feel like a poop head for not knowing his name. He's got the bears and the music and the really cool laid back delivery. No, nobody? I know you know. Grateful Panic, thank you. Holy freak, what was wrong with me? All right, so Grateful Panic was selling a knife. Thank you so much. All right, let me just make sure. All right, do like sports first. I didn't make sure. All right, so he was selling a knife. All right, first let me show you the knife I have that I really like, but I don't like to. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I don't carry it because it's too pretty, but I've shown you guys this knife before. Check that out. Y'all seen that? This is a really cool knife. The Wilson Combat, I think it's called the Mini EDC or something like that. This one's in Coca Bolo. And it's really nice. It's just almost too nice for me to carry. It's something I want to give away or something. I'm not sure. But Grateful Panic was selling this knife. And I really apologize. I should have remembered his, his name. So he had this one for sale. Holy heck. And you know what? The other one's N690. Can you read that? This one's an LMAX. Oh man, I jumped on this thing so fast. Holy freak. And you know what? It's not super perfect, which he described the condition. Totally accurate. In fact, he went overboard on how the condition was on this. This is better than what he said. But it's not perfect. So I'm going to. It's carryable. It's one of those things where you're like, yeah. Why did I sound like Curly there? Yeah, sweetly. Sweetly. Let's carry it. But no, it was. It's just one of those things where you're like, yeah, it's already kind of scratched up. Let's carry that. Oh, look at that. Check that out. Just a really cool knife. And LMAX, you can't kill LMAX. I tried to kill LMAX with a brick once. <laughs> it didn't die. <laughs> Back in the days when I thought brick fighting was where it was at for knife testing. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah. Thank you. Grateful Panic. I won't mess up your name again. I'm very sorry. <clears throat> Moving to the country. Excellent. Living on Red's vitamin C abs. Yeah. <laughs> and cocaine. He died really young. That was too bad. I mean, I wasn't even a huge fan of his back then. But I know it was sad that he was gone. Even not really being into the music, I knew he, he lost somebody. Oh, L Max is awesome. This is this was not expensive. I I think I got this. I think it was seventy or seventy five. But if you buy them new, I think they're in the 150, 160 range. So I just jumped on that thing. And look, I can spidey flick this thing without a problem. Watch this. I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to try my hardest, and then I'm going to mess it up. Oh, I didn't mess it up. Oh, you can't laugh at me. I'm going to do something else. Mess something up. That's karma. I'm going to stab myself accidentally for mem disremembering Grateful Panic. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's a cool knife. You know, I think I almost have them convinced to do some more axes lock knives over there. I talked to them, and I think I'm slowly talking them into it. I want to check it out. If they end up doing it, it's yours truly. Just hours on the phone with these guys. Demanding my people talk to their people. It's not like that. All right, so the other day, I'm on Facebook. Yeah, Thomas, they're really cool, and they're really... Very kind of like gentleman carry, nice looking knives, but they feel good in your hand and really locked up. Lomax is zombie steel. Lmax, that is. Nice knives, nice. yeah. Did I miss Mark? Did I miss somebody coming in? If I missed you coming in, wave, wave, and I'll. Hey, Mark, there you are. Welcome. My love of LCK is justified. 
LCK AC MK axis is better than bench rain. Oh shoot! There you go. He said it. Yeah, the axis the axis lock on this knife is really pretty nice. I mean, it's super it's not tight at all. It, I don't know. Man, can you imagine if they made this? If they started making this again, but let's say they put a S thirty five VN on that or a D two or something. And not not this steel is bad, you're not gonna hard use this thing or anything. And I love this knife. You know, probably sent out thirty of them. But if they just made a little upgraded version of it, and I told them that. So we're gonna see. Let's see if they listen. All right, let's see. I'm the man. You're the man, Eddie. You're the man. Ganzo Axis is the best. They have some good axes too. I like Chad suspended for three days. Generally offensive. Oh well, I need to put out a petition on that one. Chad seconds that. <laughs> Chad wants to be suspended. He's over in God's country out there in North Carolina. Are you in the mountains? Are you down there on the coast? The mountains of North Carolina. That's where I snagged my wife. Three days excessive. I sent like 20 of them. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones out there. A lot of, a lot of these things floating around. I think if they agree to it, we should get a Facebook group, Channel Knife, get one of these with a something on it and just make it our Channel Knife or something. This thing has been pretty awesome. I don't know how many we'd have to come up with, but that would be really cool. All right, so here is the big thing. Oh, I don't even like to show you. I don't want to brag. I'm not doing this to brag, but it's like showing my friends stuff. I don't ever mean this. Really, I don't mean to be neener, neener, all that, y'all. It's just like showing my buddies stuff. And I wanted to show you guys. I got a sweet deal on this knife. And it really worked out awesome. I, I was about 50% sure for the last week that I was going to get ripped off because of how awesome this deal was. But check this out. Oh, my gosh, I got another one. Holy heck, you can't believe the price I got on this. I'm not going to say it. If you want to know, I'll definitely email it to you if you want to hit me up in PMs or whatnot. It's, I, I always feel bad like I'm bragging or stuff. And, and I know the whole purpose of this channel is to show knives and stuff. But this feels a little more personal in the in the group here. So I don't want to brag about it. I just wanted to tell you all about it. If you all ever get a grail knife in mind and you all want to save up your pennies for something. But this is what I'm talking about. This is kind of to show you that if you keep your eye open, there's some sweet deals out there. I'm just going to say, I got this. This is a, I don't know if y'all all know. Watch this. <laughs> this is a Leung Ma GSD, which stands for Get Stuff Done, the tuxedo version. And usually it, they're on the $400 range, brand new. And this is brand new. This thing is super new. Nothing wrong with it. And I got this for right about what you're going to pay for a new zero tolerance knife. And if you're out there looking for stuff and you got patience and you got a little cash and you've been saving and you're looking for something cool, don't settle for something that you kind of like. Sit there and keep your eye out. And there's always deals out there. there if I had a million dollars, I could buy $3 million worth of knives every day just on the deals and I know I'm on there a lot more than you guys but the deals that are out there are, are pretty amazing so you just gotta keep your your eyes open on that hey film dude welcome no it was actually not that's not how much it was mark but but let me know Hit me up on Facebook and I'll let you know for sure. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me, somebody just texted me real quick. Let me text them back. All 
All right. Wait a few months. And, yeah. Or, yeah, that's right. Hashtag, you can wait a few months and bite off meat. It might not even be a few months. <laughs> Oh, Peter B., I'm telling you. That's an extra CR and one extra, or two extra CRs and an extra MOV. That thing. I did not know they had pink scales, though. So I'll be right after you grabbing that knife as soon as I get off of here. Yeah, T Thomas W., sure. It is it is pretty, and it's... I don't know, it's expensive. It's just one of those things you want to spend your money on, whether you don't. And it's just what, it's been one of my, like, favorite pretty knives for a while. And I happened to get one from the young Ma himself at Blade Show, which was a really cool experience. And got his autograph and whatnot. He didn't give me any price breaks on it, I'll let you know that. But it was really cool. And this just came in. I've had that in the Safe Queen, and I'm probably going to, I might carry this one. I, I've been wanting to carry one. I don't know. I, I have it in my mind that I'm going to carry it, but I'm not sure yet. So, Yeah, Chad's bought a bunch of good deals for me. And I got some good deals from him. Uh, some really good deals, now I think about it. Yeah, so that's, that's one cool thing about being in the Facebook channel if you're not, if you're on the Facebook group. You're going to get some really good deals, and for the most part, some seriously honest people over there. We had a couple of turdlings, one super turd, and then, you know, once in a while, some little issues. But for the most part in that group, you need some decent deals and some really good people. So if you're just looking out for deals and stuff, that's not a bad place to be over there in, in the Facebook group. And there's also a chance to express yourself with your pictures and stuff. So there's lots of cool stuff going on over there. That's all I'll say about the Facebook group. I'm not trying to recruit i'm just trying to say it's a cool place to get deals yeah i'm gonna check out some more max a stuff pete I, I haven't really checked into their stuff before so take a duck toke for me doug is doug toking well heck where does doug live what's up with that <laughs> let's see where can i get it in nz me too, Doug. Everybody here wants Doug to take a toke for them. Yeah, Thomas. Thomas is super awesome. Some of the deals I got from Thomas was just amazing. All right, let's see. Eddie wants to start a worldwide mo the toke movement. Hey, send me a petition. I'll sign it. <laughs> I express myself often. Yeah, Chad. Chad's a cornerstone over there there you go Peter B knows it HCR what's on steroids that's awesome thank you doc thanks for showing up do your work things I really appreciate you showing up I know you're busy but I, means a lot when you show up doc thank you I'm not in Facebook you what's the name it's Jimmy slash I think it's just facebook.com slash Jimmy slash now don't go to the fan thing the fan page make sure it's the group. You have to ask permission to get in. You have to answer the three questions. Make sure you answer the questions. They're silly questions, but they're necessary to make sure they're not just bots getting in. We're still live, Jack. I don't I don't get out much. So we still keep going. <laughs> Drinking a forty. Good night, Doc. Yeah, some good stuff going on. George, for sure. A Pithmas box from Doug. A Puffmas box from Doug. <laughs> oh, hell, the twig of peace. <laughs> the twig of peace. <laughs> I don't think you, you can get CBD... Even the non-THC stuff here in Texas, so I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube by speaking wrongly of the medicinals of THC, but I don't think you can get that here. Oh, there's Doug. Welcome. Hello. 
<laughs> it's my nephew, Doug. He decided to show up. Vote for Eric to be removed as admin. That's not good. Hmm. <laughs> Jack. Dude. Prop 1. I don't know what Prop 1 was. All right. Let's see here. The Devil's Cabbage Legal Stores are open now in Mass. Oh, really? That's weird. I didn't know they would be high for the legal stuff, huh? I guess all that stuff was incorrect there. All right, guys, give me two seconds here. I got to do something real quick. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's see. You like from a torn arthritis? Not legal yet. I don't even know how far. We're pretty far away, I'd say, for making it legal. I mean, they just recently legalized it for medical reasons for serious types of seizures and stuff, I think. So we're pretty far away from that here in Texas. But I'm not sure. I don't. It's like I have my finger on the pulse of politics or anything. Uh, oh, no, I'm not topping up. Sorry about that. I just had a little cough there. I didn't want to go all, you know, broken lung on you guys. All right, peanut made legal for all medical use. Oh, I might take my glaucoma up to Oklahoma. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. <laughs> I'm gonna take my glaucoma to Oklahoma. All right, that'll work. Chad for admin, vote now. Let's do it. All right. Subscribe to Jimmy Slash. That's right, listen to the voice behind the curtain. Subscribe to Jimmy Slash. <laughs> all right. You will regret it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let's see here. Let's see. Might mean super nerve damage. This has kind of gone off the, the 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 rails of what I can die that I know about. So I don't mind the chat going that way. I just don't know a whole lot about the THC and the the CBD. So see you there, Angie. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. I'm glad you didn't lose your mini grip. So that, that was my nephew. He's down from, <laughs> it is the voice of reason. He's down from South, South Dakota visiting his cousins over here. So, wow, that's a lot of waiting. All right, how long we, had, did we do Nubers this week already? Does anybody know? It seems like we did Nubers recently. Have we not done it? Did we do Sunday Nubers? I don't remember. I think I'm a Nuber behind. Let me see. Let me wait for somebody to say. <clears throat> Let me wait to see if anybody remembers if we did Nubers. It seems like we did. 
Did we do an extra Nuber? <laughs> 186. One fifty seven. All right. <laughs> okay, we'll do Nubers tonight. My brother's here, but he's not here, so maybe I could squeeze him in on the Sunday night. The the Sunday night live stream. He's been kind of super tired and busy and visiting folks that he hasn't seen in a while. Just mail my gym code and skip Nubers. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, let's do Nubers, and that'll put us at about an hour. Does that sound good? It's been a really interesting talk tonight, y'all talking about the THC stuff. It's kind of cool to see how many people are not vehemently against it. All right, I'm going to send Doc the Nuber. Let me just get the random.org up here. So I can be honest, and it doesn't show up as 157 again. All right. All right, we have the Nuber. Oh, we did Nubers twice on Sunday. Oh, did we? I'm way behind then. I gotta get some knives out. I'm sorry if you're the Nuber winder for Sunday. Oh, that's right, Bruce. I forgot about that. Okay. So, I owe one person the new Lot Twist. It's 157. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. So, I owe somebody... I'll have to go back and find out who won that day. Unless you won, you could tell me. I'm pretty sure they showed up. All right, so you know the rules. Just wait until. Yay, Norma's safe. Woohoo! All right, you made it just home for Noobers. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to do a little Noobers. Send me your address. If I don't have it, send me your address tonight. It's just numbers. We just guess numbers between 100 and 250 for a little. Just a little knife or something that I'll send you guys. Just to make it fun on Friday nights usually. It's going to be 100 to 250. Thomas is a little bit off. But it might be because they legalized marijuana in Massachusetts. I don't know. I'm not making any judgment calls. I'm just... That's kind of far off there. Nope. One number at a time. I can't keep up with 16, 17 numbers with a comment. So, no. So everybody's following the same rules and the same typing. So just to keep it fair, one number at a time. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> All right. So you guys got to wait till I, you see the t start, you see me type start, and then just go to town on your Nubers. Let me get a glance at what the Nuber is. All right. I think, all right, I'll tell you what. Tonight, the winner is going to get the angry commie monkey knife. I'll go straight to Amazon. It'll be from Amazon to your door. It won't be this one. It'll be the red one. Because they don't have this one anymore out there. But it'll be a red one. So tonight's winner gets the angry commie monkey knife from Amazon. <laughs> if you went tonight. You know, if you'd won Sunday, you'd have got the bench, man. I don't know if I can give you a Demco for tonight. That should be something. If somebody wins like five in a row or something, I'll give them a Demco. All right. Let me get the start ready. Y'all are ready. And there we go. Oh, we got a winner. Richard Ricosma. You won 187. It's 187 on an undercover cop. It's Cosma wins. That was quick and fast and easy. All right. Let me put this in. Uh, 
Oh, that's not a Q. Cos Q. It's Cosma. Sorry about that. I was typing too fast. All right. Let me make sure he was the winner. Dun 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 dun. Yep. He was the only one way. He's the first one eight seven. All right. Richard, I think I have your address. If you wouldn't mind, can you email it to me? Jimmy slash YouTube at Yahoo.com. I know we've emailed each other before. If you just give me your address for sure, and I will get your angry kami monkey knife in the mail. All right. Man, you guys had a really good time talking to you guys tonight. Thank you to the mystery person for all the cool stuff you sent in. That was awesome. Remember the lessons we learned about the pith boxes that came back. I need to make sure your address or post office friendly for that reason. Jack Farmer typed 187 three days ago. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm not sure what that went to Jack, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, I really appreciate y'all taking some time out of your, your Friday night to be here. It really means a lot. I say it every time, but it means a lot to see y'all talking and, and being part of this. So, the Browse Blades, I think is a T, it's called a T4, I think. All right, time for Hogan's Heroes for Thomas W. I want to say thank you guys for everything, and I appreciate y'all showing up. And come over to Facebook if you want to talk some more. And it was totally Chad's idea. He totally snapped me out of my funk and got me over here. So thank him too. All right, I'll talk to y'all later.